internet's broken. My internet is broken. Your internet's broken? Yes. What did you do? I just was trying to fix everything. I can't. You're trying to fix everything, but you can't. Oh, no. But you need to be on the right wireless network. Beep, 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 beep. Use automation. In today's rapidly changing world, you need to know how to learn new technologies quickly. I'm gonna give you five tips to help you rapidly learn new technologies. I've done this over many, many years. Hopefully my experience will help you also learn new technologies very, very quickly. But first I wanna thank Cisco for sponsoring this video as part of the IT Professionals Day. 15th of September, 2020 is the day that we celebrate IT professionals like you. Without your hard work, the world as we know it today wouldn't exist. Tip number one, and this is really important, you must have a reason to learn. Don't just learn it for the sake of learning it. You've got to have a good reason to learn a technology. If you want to learn Python, the end result could be that you want to learn Python so that you can automate networks. That's a good reason to learn Python. Or you might want to learn Python so that you can be a better ethical hacker. So we are learning Python not just for the sake of learning Python, we are learning Python with the goal of being a better network engineer. Or we're adding Python to the list of tools that we can use as an ethical hacker. Have a good reason to learn a technology, don't just learn it for the sake of learning it. Tip number two is be practical. Participate in the learning, don't just passively receive information. And that means that you have to actively do something. So in other words, don't just read a book, do a lab. Do something and participate in the learning. You'll learn a lot more. Use multiple modalities. So use your ears, use your eyes, use your fingers. Get involved, type on the keyboard, learn how to code by coding, learn how to program network devices by configuring them through the CLI. Don't just listen to a podcast. Don't just watch a video. Don't just read. Do all of those things, but make sure that you practical. Make sure that you actually practice and do what you're learning. You will learn so much more by doing than by simply watching someone else do it. So be practical and do it. Now, tip number three is teach someone what you're learning. One of the best ways to learn is to actually teach someone. So a big tip that I'll give you if you wanna learn a new technology rapidly is to learn it with the view that you're going to explain it to someone else, that you have to teach someone else this new technology tomorrow or next week. Put pressure on yourself that you're gonna to have to explain this to your boss or to your colleagues. That will force you to take the information and crystallize it and make sure that you actually understand the core principles of the technology that you're learning. So learn to teach. Tip number four, make sure that you learn with a deadline in mind. So as an example, go and set your exam a month from today or three months from today or six months from today, but have a deadline. Don't just learn with some vague deadline in the distance. Make sure that you put a deadline on yourself. So as an example, if you wanna take your CCNA exam or your CCMP exam, set a deadline. In a month's time or three months time, I'm gonna take my exam. That then forces you to work backwards from that date. So three months from today, I'm gonna to take my CCNA exam. I've got so many weeks, so many days of preparation. That means every single day I need to do a certain amount to reach that target. So make sure that you set a deadline for yourself that will force you to learn the technology with that deadline in mind. Don't just have vague goals, have specific goals that you're gonna get your CCNA or your CCMP. You're gonna pass this exam by a certain date. That will force you to learn information rapidly. Tip number five, and this is really important, you've got to believe in yourself. Ignore the haters, ignore the doubters, ignore all the teachers that may have told you that you're dumb or that you can't learn a technology. Take all those doubts and throw them away. You've got to believe that you can do it. Believe in yourself. And here's a tip I'll remind you of. Everyone who knows a technology, everyone who's an expert in a technology, was once upon a time a beginner. Once upon a time, they never knew anything about OSPF or BGP or spanning tree or any other technology. Once upon a time, they knew nothing and they had to go through the process of learning that technology. You can do the same. If I did it, if many, many others have done it, you can do it as well. 
So have faith in yourself, believe in yourself, and go and make a success of your life. 